Hey what's up YouTubers, Mr. back with another video and today I'm going to show you the best render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 13. This pretty much works on any Sony Vegas uh, but I'm using Pro 13. Uh, anyways, I've used a lot of render settings for Sony Vegas and through a lot of trial and error this one is definitely the best I've had. It has the best quality, it renders the it renders the quickest and the file sizes aren't too big. I use this these render settings for pretty much all of my videos using the Elgato or even the Rock Seal and even my PC games. Like I said, this is the best quality by far. And yeah, if you want like a quick rundown of it so you don't have to watch the entire video, you can go to my blog post in the description below. Uh, but other than that, you can just watch this video and I'll show you the same thing. Just be a little slower. All right. Now, all right, first things first, we open up Sony Vegas and you just drag in your footage. Now, this footage can be from anywhere, it can be from the Rock Seal, the Elgato or even PC. I found that th these settings you know, work best for everything. So as soon as you bring your footage in here, you gotta right click on it and go to properties. Once you're in here, you need to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and check disable resample. Once that's done, you pretty much you know, finish the first step. This footage, it will just remove some of that uh, little fade and stutter. Now, you gotta go to your project properties, which is right up over here. You just click on this, like so and you get all this. Now, it, it, does, it doesn't matter if your base footage is 30 FPS or 60 FPS, you have to render in 60 FPS, it doesn't matter. Uh, for some reason, YouTube uses a different, you know, I guess, file rendering processing system uh, for whenever it's 60 FPS, and I found that it just looks better, uh, even if the video is, you know, 30 FPS. Now, go to 1920, 1080, non-progressive scan, just copy all this stuff, 8-bit, best, gamma, none, all that. Just click apply. Start all all these projects with this. There you go. And let's click OK. Now we're done with that. Now before we go to rendering or anything, we have to go to our video effects tab. Now a lot of people don't like adding video effects because they think it messes with the stuff, but raw footage after it's been rendered doesn't really look the best. So I always add just a little bit of touch of color curves and sharpen. So first we're gonna go to color curves and I found perfect all is pretty much my setup. I just drag it on here, I made a preset. And if you look over here, I'll click on it and I'll click it. Do you, do you see that? Do you see the difference? It really adds a lot of depth. It's like grayscale and stuff. And then you add this and it looks a lot better. So here's the setting I have. Uh, this is what my angles are. And I also put a, and I save this. That's how you save stuff if you don't know. I'm going to make this smaller. Just a little bit. There you go. So I just copied these color curves under video effects. After that, we go to sharpen. Now sharpen, you have to do a very light touch of it because it does lose some sharpening, uh, you know, in the long run. Anyways, I have a preset and I add that. I found that sharpen looks a lot better uh, on sharpen looks a lot better on console games. I don't know why, uh, but you don't really need it on PC. But here's the difference: you can see that everything sharpens up a little bit. Some games, this is too strong, so I also lower it down just a little bit more, maybe to like 75. Like I said, there will be different settings for different games, alright? So you just gotta keep that in mind. I found this to be the best. So color curves and sharpen. After you've done that, we'll finally go to the, to the render settings. So we go to File, Render As. Now, MP, YouTube takes MP4 the best, uh, so we're just going to use that. Anyways, uh, don't use the main concept one. I don't like that one. I used to use that one a lot, but I decided that it wasn't that good. So I use Sony AVC slash MVC. It's also MP4, but it's Sony specific thing. Uh, it also renders a lot quicker than the other one. So you click on down over here. You click Internet 1080p 30fps. Uh, so just click on that and then edit it. Uh, but I'm going to go back down to my own preset, which is Roxy Ultra High. Then I customize my template. Uh, yeah. So all you have to do is click the Internet 1080p 60fps, and this will pop up. And then you got to edit your stuff to match mine. So as you can see, I'm using AVC high definition profile. You need to use high, and you know the the coding. Like I said, 60fps doesn't matter if your base footage is 30 or whatever the you know whatever it is. Just copy this. All right non-progressive like the same one we did on the project files and our bitrate I found that 26 megabytes per second look really nice um, if you have a good GPU you can render using the GPU uh, but uh, I just do that now go to project and make sure this is set on best a lot of people mess this up and yeah after you've done all of that you should have some really nice recorded footage all of my videos on my channel at least for the last couple of months last month pretty much have been using these settings and I really like the way they look uh, anyways, that's all. Thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, 
if you guys would like, you can check out my blog post on the same stuff. Uh, just goes a little bit more in, in depth on, you know, why I do those things. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.